Hi guys, this is Sweet Pots Thrift and with another thrift haul. Um, I recently, this weekend, went to a garage sale, um, a rummage sale, and probably two estate sales. But I'll start with the stuff I got from the rummage sale. So this rummage sale is thrown by a Samoan Christian Fellowship. They get a lot of donations from Crate and Barrel. Um, they also get donations from Sports Basement, Sears, Walmart. So, a lot of the stuff that they sell, they sell at super discounted prices. Like, probably for clothing, it's like a dollar to three dollars a piece. And somewhere around that uh, price range. So, this is some of the stuff I got. I got these cute little love little letters that are Crane Barrel. Probably paid a dollar. These Crane Barrel shams take them out but they're like got little yellow stitching on them probably a dollar I paid for that too and I got these bags these two are Timbuktu you can put whatever you want and I think these are meant for to attach to your, your bike so I got those I found this in one of the boxes I don't know how uh, Michael Kors ended up in any other stuff because they usually don't have high-end uh, designer like purse designer but I managed to find this and probably less than a dollar I paid for that these are all bike light accessories except for this one this one's a headlamp but these are all bike light accessories all this probably two to three dollars paid for all that and this alone probably can be like 30 bucks so okay definitely a good deal on that. And I got these earbud earbuds. And they have this little magnet. These things are magnetic the little earbuds so they'll just clip together. And then I got this clothing. I got this little dress. I haven't thought of the occasion to wear it but nice dress. Brand is TB1. Little, tw little tweed kind of dress and I found these like I said they get a lot of donations from sports basement so sports basement sports basement sells a lot of high-end um, sport sporting equipment clothing stuff like that so in the boxes I found two of these like exercise jogging kind of pants and when I looked at the brand I saw North Face is super expensive, so when I found not one but two, I was like super excited. And I don't think they know what North Face is because they sell a lot of it for like sometimes a dollar or two dollars. And North Face can go up to up to a hundred or more sometimes a piece. I got this cute shirt. Liked it this little button up shirt. Again, all these are probably paid for a dollar each. This is a Selena Gomez brand. Still has the little tag thing right there. Still attached, so probably it's never been used. Got the cute little embellishments on the sleeve. These are all button up shirts this one. Again, all buttoned up. And I found this one in one of the boxes. Like I said, with North Face, they don't know how expensive this brand is. So again, paid a dollar. And it has a little stain. I haven't tried to wash any it yet, but I'll see if that comes out with it. But I don't care if it doesn't because it was only a dollar. So next, the stuff I got from garage sales and estate sales. So, and thrift store. So this piece turned out to be sterling. Got it for $1.99 at the Goodwill. This is a Texaco Mexico bracelet, 25 cents. I went to a garage sale and got these two pieces. This is a 
I think this is sterling with liquid silver right here, the necklace part. And the bird could be sterling, but it's not marked. But 25 cents for that and 25 cents for this pin. And it turned out that this pin has a marking on it. And it's right there. And it says sterling Sator Renoir. So that was cool. Went to a state sale, found these sterling earrings marked on the back. Right there, stir for 25 cents. Then I went to an estate sale and found this necklace. It is marked on the clasp 925. So they're originally selling it for six dollars. I got it for four dollars. And then I went to a garage sale where they're selling these grab bags of jewelry and I got two of them and the guy was charging me five bucks a piece and I got them down to four dollars a piece so when I was digging through the bags I found this stuff which I decided to keep for myself so I got a statement necklace in rose gold color and there's a lot of these crystal uh vintage necklaces like all of these so there's like two necklaces that one then you have this teardrop rhinestone piece and there even is a bracelet to match so I got those I got this tiger eye bracelet I have a lot of these so that'll go with that collection and I found this in one of the bags. I think it's uh, gold over sterling silver because right there is where you see sterling in 925 and then it also is Texaco Mexico. So nice bangle bracelet. Found a couple sterling earrings but they're single so I don't know what to do with those yet. But the only reason I bought the bags was because I saw these two pendants. One was an Ohio Buckeye State Sterling Pendant or Charm. And the other is a Maid of Honor Sterling Charm. So that's why I bought the bags in the first place. And then I found all this extra stuff in the bags. So I was like, that works out for me. There's a Sterling Heart. And this is also Sterling. I don't know what kind of stones those are, but for the total I spent, this alone probably is worth it all. And then I found this rosary. It's missing the cross, but I can always find one and replace it. And found this little silver necklace right here. Thought I'd keep that. And it had this little pearl simple necklace that was cool pretty sure this is fake but it is marked on one of the ends or here with 14k but just looking at it I'm pretty sure it's not it could be like just plated but yeah You might see it right there. It says 14K, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I don't know. I'll have to check that out maybe with a jeweler. And lastly, I went to an estate sale. And I got all of this. So, I got this little lemon letter. A little vintage Disney land keychain and I got this little religious metal looking thing I don't know if it's sterling but decided to keep it maybe I can alter it somehow into a pendant got this nice rhinestone brooch little 
copper with inlay bracelet. I got more of these rhinestone uh, earrings that I have a match. Two. And I got another limestone earring. Oops, this one. And I have the match to that as well. So I have those two. I love reading, so when I found this, I was super excited because it's sterling. And then, I know the marking on this, but I wasn't, I never, I've never heard of it. It's marked 835, so I guess that's like a European silver mark. But I thought that was cool, a little lucky rabbit foot. And I found, I don't know who this lady is, but I thought it'd be cool to incorporate into a necklace. I was looking in the garage. I happened to have come across this. Oops, dropped it. Come across this 10 carat ring. Let me see if I can find the marking. Okay. About right there. Let's see. Oops, right there. But I think they took out the stones from it and squished it. So it's probably going to have to get melted down. I found another 835 chain that will have to get fixed because it's a little broken. Another pair of little rhinestone vintage clip on earrings. I found 14 karat grandma pendant. Some 14 karat pearl earrings. I know I mentioned this in the last video, but it's good to keep an eye out for earring backs because I got those three, and two of them are marked 14 karat and one's 925. And I got this little pendant part. And I was going through the house and I saw this, and I'm very into sterling. So I saw a $1 price tag on this, and I flipped it over just to check. And I saw, yeah. So I was like, one dollar for sterling gold dish. I'm like, cool. I'll use it for jewelry or something. And I had to watch another thrifter's video. And he said, even if you don't know the marking on something, if it has a marking, it's more likely a good choice to take a chance on it and check it out later. If it's worth, if it's cheap enough. So I found these, these tight clip and matching cufflinks. And I saw a marking on it. It said 333. See it right there. And also on this you can see it right at the tip down there. It says 333. And I've never heard of 333. So when I came home and I researched it, it turns out that is a European marking for 8 karat gold. So I was like, score. And... The person whose estate this was was a German uh, individual, so the 835 silver and the 333 gold are known markings in Germany, so yeah, that's, that's what I got, and I paid for all of this at the estate sale, I paid $15, so I thought that was a fantastic deal, so yeah, that's what I got this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed it.